Hello there, I'm Guildmaster Dan. And I'm Guildmouse. And you guys missed a video on Sunday because we... We were partying hard. Yeah, we were at ColossalCon 2015. Well, he was partying hard. I was watching him party hard. She says in the rave glasses and the rave clip-ons. Missed it. Anyway, we were at ColossalCon 2015. Um... And at the Kalahari Resort in Sandusky, Ohio, where we met... We missed you guys. Yeah. Um, we were partying. We met a lot of cool people. We got some cool things, as you could see. I had these from last year. This in is fact, new. as we speak, I'm working on another cool thing to show you that Eye will protectors. go into the background here. But we just you may hear our dog whining because she's being a whiner. She can't handle her feels. She can't handle her feels! Anyway, so we wanted to catch you guys up and just let you know that you are still going to get a video this week. It's a double feature! Well, it's not really a double feature because they're getting... That's rude, dog. That's rude. Do, do, do you see this? The, the dog took her spot. Down. Go on, get down. So she lays down, so in, she the lays down in the chair. Come on, you took your mother's spot. So... Anyway, it's not really a double feature, but uh, we just wanted to bring you this real quick, tell you about the con, tell you about some stuff coming up, show you some pictures from the con. Um, you'll get the pictures at the end, uh, but yeah, I'm working on a thing, and you're going to hear lots of crinkling in the video. But yep. Anyway, we just wanted to tell you about the con, tell you some stuff that's coming up, and tell you that you are still going to be getting your video this week, and it may be a cool video. We'll see. It's the world's smallest violin. Not, not really. Though. <laughs> so, con was awesome. Um, this year, we were both in photo shoots. Yes, we were. Um, I was in a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure photo shoot. To the point where he was actually invited because his wasn't really scheduled. Yeah, there wasn't. And he was a, there for two hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a scheduled, uh, or it was not a scheduled photo shoot like hers was. Um, but I got randomly invited because uh, they saw me on the floor, um, and. Asked me to come. Now, I unfortunately don't have a lot of pictures of me, especially from the photo shoot, because it had... A couple selfies. Yeah, because obviously I was in the picture, so I couldn't take pictures, and I'm waiting for everything to be put online. So, uh, that will have to wait until later. Maybe I'll get you guys some more pictures of that later. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, um, I do still have some pictures of me in my Joseph Joestar outfit. Um, Guildmouse was in several... Um, black shoots. in several black butler photo shoots so something that was really different from last year uh, because I went in 2014 too um, was that the photo shoots were broken up over two days which is problematic especially if you want to do anything else um, and they were only 30 minutes long as opposed to one photo shoot that was an hour long and everybody gets their giggles in and then they can go have their giggles elsewhere or participate in other photo shoots. That's one way to put it. Without, you know... Giggles! Dressing up six different costumes in one, sh one in one day. But if you have the prowess to do it, congrats to you. I don't. Mostly due to overheating. <laughs> um, the Black Butler photo shoots went great. The first one was a lot of fun. The second one, one of the CLs, because again, Black Butler, stepped up because our photographer decided to be a no-show, which was really disappointing, but we got a lot of fun photos in, and we got to hang out. Um, I did this backwards. Well. Continue. Yeah, um, I, I was there for that one, <laughs> taking pictures, and, and it's kind of lame. the second one. Yeah, it's kind of lame. didn't get to go to the first one, because his, his JoJo's uh, Bizarre one actually overlapped mine by an hour and 30 minutes. Hmm. Yeah, that's what? how you would do that one. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I was at that second one. It was kind of lame, or it's kind of lame when... Um, People don't show. Yeah, when the guy who scheduled the event doesn't or show. Girl. Or girl, yeah. Whoever scheduled the event did not show, and that was pretty lame. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working on my thing to show you guys. But I had a lot of fun. Um, I got to watch people get drunk, which is amusing in its own way. If you've ever been the sober person at a party full of drunk people, um, I got to ro do a lot of roaming. I did miss a lot of vendor time, so I kind of came home empty-handed this year, excluding a couple of awesome prints that will probably show off a little bit later. Um, oh, 
and on Thursday nights to give people who hand make stuff an opportunity to, you know, sell some stuff or more con swag or to make ends meet throughout the year, um, there's this otaku craft fair. And I participated for the first time with my best friend, uh, British girl. Um, I don't remember her number either. There's a number after it, and I've tagged her before. But she sold these amazing ear cuffs that are just stunning, and I don't have... I don't know where mine are, but I'll find them and show them off in one of my videos. I'll wear them and make sure that my hair is tucked back or something. Mm -hmm. But um, when I was selling stuff, I sold things like rupees. Ah! Mm -hmm. Whole sets of rupees. I sold navvies. I don't know if the camera will pick up the sparkly wings, but navvy sparkles. And I also did hair clips. Mm -hmm. And some bigger pieces, And too. some bigger pieces, but they sold. I did Seal in Wonderland. I did uh, Grell. Cheshire Grell from the Seal in Wonderland OVA for Black mm -hmm. Butler. Uh, I did some Durr. Well, they were deer, but I... They looked a little they, funny. They looked a little funny because I didn't realize that the underbelly was too broad, so I had to sew their legs a little closer to their body. It was... A valiant attempt on my effort. But people liked them. They bought I them. I also sold stars. Oh, there was this little kid. Guys, I have to tell you this. There was this little kid, and he absolutely broke my heart because he was going table to table going, what can I get for a dollar? He just had this dollar and a paper crane in his hand, and he was like, can, what's, what's for a dollar? So I looked at him, and I had a little Mario star, and I was selling them for like, well, it doesn't even matter. I was like, for one dollar, you can have the star, and you can pick any which star you want. So he grabs the biggest star, hands me the dollar. He's got this huge smile on his face. He's like, look, Mom! <laughs> and his parents look over, and they're like, yeah, thanks. And I was like, no worries. I understand being the kid with one dollar at a fair full of shinies mm -hmm. and no, you know, people not working with you. Um, well, that's from a previous oh, year. This is... I got Guildmaster Dan this last year. That uh, you can't. That is a. It's a ring of Common yeah. Rider Kuga. Yeah. Kuga Kuga. Yeah. Stop looking at me, camera. Look at the Kuga. For those yes. of you who don't know Common Rider, maybe I'll talk about him someday. Oh, and more Guildmaster Dan swag. He got this yes. on his own. I got that pendant. I was walking around with it. Um, that is my new fairy tale pendant to go along with now my tattoo. Now he wears it on his front and his back. Yep. Yay! You guys wonder where guild stuff comes from. Also, I got this really awesome Brook fig. It doesn't even matter if you know who if you know who Brook is. Hold on. Yeah, Wait, we'll focus. yeah. It doesn't even matter if you know who Brook is. If you like fit, if you like fantasy role playing games, just imagine an undead musician with a top hat and a cane sword. Cane sword. Yes, he is Brook is awesome. He's my favorite character from One Piece. Um, and I just, I saw this and I was like, Ugh. but there was no fairy tale figs and I was sad. There, well, there were two fairy tale, there were three, we saw three. Yeah. Uh, sexy Lucy, because you can't have Lucy in her normal clothes. There was Grey and, and Natsu. And there was Grey and Natsu, and which, then there was nobody else. There was Grey and Natsu, which is <laughs> cool and all, but I was really hoping to get like a, a Lucy or an Urza. So I really would have went for an Could Urza. you imagine an Urza fig that had like a switchable face or something? No, no, no. See, I was hoping more for an Urza in one of her um, forms, especially like maybe like the one where she's dual sorted and she has like her chest wrapped up and mm -hmm. she has the flame pants. Like that would have been cool. So if you guys want to go to Colossal Con next year, because we're going to keep ranting and raving about how awesome it was, uh, Friday and Saturday were completely booked by Sunday night, but the surrounding hotels are just a little little less expensive than the resort hotel that hi elfie she loves you i, I know she loves me um sorry dog, a little we're, less expensive we're, we're talking to our people we know rooms available from thursday to sunday which is when the con runs um yep most people show up on the majority of people show up on friday and saturday and that's because parties and not necessarily yes. having to worry about working those days it was a fantastic resort too. Like it's got an indoor we went and to a petting zoo. Okay, it's got a petting zoo uh, with I giraffes um, and parakeets. There's like this parakeet room you can walk in. And they're everywhere. Um, yeah, no, they like swarm you. They like, like 
a whole and bunch, your toes. a whole bunch like fly and land on you and eat like food that you're holding. One and when I say a whole bunch, I mean like you have like 25 on you at a time. Um, that's, it, that's an understatement. Yeah, it's a unique experience. It's very cool. <laughs> but there's there's a petting zoo. There's an indoor and outdoor water park. There's two arcade. Well, there was one arcade at the con. It was like a Neo Geo arcade. And then um, the, and then the there hotel was a, itself has its own yeah. arcade. Um, there's multiple eateries, a really fancy restaurant. Um, there's bowling, laser tag, a laser obstacle course, um, a uh, ne- yeah neon mini golf. Uh, yeah. There was even like a a shooter. It was like a ride slash shooter game yeah. too in a separate room and bowling. Um, so you yeah, there's, did I? Yeah. Oh, whatever. There was a ton of stuff there. Um, it was really cool seeing all of the different like cosplays out there. There were, since there was the water park, there were many, 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 many a pretty girls walking around yes, in, in a swimsuit cosplay. I particularly loved the War Turtle Blastoise swimsuit girls. Yeah, there were lots of they were uh, water Pokemon. Um, you'll probably see a picture. There was a dragon air and a Gyarados that just made your heart stop. Yeah, you're inevitable to see, um, like when we show the picture, you're inevitable to see some some girls in bikinis in there we, because there were so many of them. That were just wandering the floor of the car, yeah. which was really nice because it was like if you didn't go to the water park, you missed them. Well, to be fair, I was also a little envious because, you know, when they're walking around, they can't be nearly as hot as everybody else is in their, like, full oh, yeah. costume. I mean. My costume had a scarf. I'm walking around in a, in in hallways filled with hundreds of like hundreds and hundreds of people, and they don't turn up the air conditioning. Without a doubt, Colossal Con's uh, amount of people doubled, if not tripled, and it's just going to happen again. And oh yeah, something that I it's hope, a great con. People are discovering. I, that. I really hope that the people who organize Colossal Con get a chance to watch our video because. Are you, um, you going to complain now? I am going to complain just a little bit. Just a little bit, because then we need to tell what's coming up on the channel. Yep. Um, just a little bit, though. Um, some things that they were definitely in charge of was pre-registration check-in. It's not digitized. <coughs> you guys are big enough to do it. They are totally big enough to do it. Some great examples are Gen Con and even Con on the Cob in Ohio. If you go to Con on the Cob in Ohio, get registered. Or start watching it now like a hawk because it's time. It's time to start getting ready for Con on the Cob. We won't get to be there this year, but I love them because they know how to help people and they're really friendly to their fellow geek. It's a role, it's a tabletop role playing convention. If you're interested, check it out. It's worth your yeah. time. It's Colossal Con guys or anyone doing cons, if you want to go digital, um, they're not the greatest in the world, but they're perfectly functional. There's a small company called MSTB. They put all your stuff online. They make everything digital so you can buy events online. You can schedule your events online. Everything's automated at the event itself. You can set up terminals for people to check their schedules. You can check electronically check everybody in. Like, oh, what's your last name? Okay, here's your badge. Here's your badge. Instead, what's your last name? Now, the reason that that is an issue, the page flipping that you might not be able to see, is because the font... The font was below average readability. It was at least a four-point font, and anybody else here who is a graphic designer or a typography freak knows that you need to start at six or eight because people are blind. And the other issue is to combat 2,000-plus people, 3,000-plus pe- I don't know the exact attendance, but they had two people handling pre-registration. I could have walked in, bought my tickets, and been in the con well worth, you know, over an hour and a half faster than standing in line for my pre-registration where I only saved like five bucks. So. Alright, if you have any other complaints, let's hurry up because I want to get them for pictures. $10.60 is way too much for two slices of pizza. Well, that's the resort. That's not the con. That's not necessarily true, but if no, that was the that was the resort. Oh, was it? Was yeah. the security also? Yeah, it was the same. Out? It was the same way how um, a double shot was uh, twelve bucks. But you get, that, that's the resort. You Resorts get are expensive. Inch pizza for thirty bucks. Yeah, that was a like, that's a really big discrepancy there. You know, you pay twelve bucks for two shots of alcohol, but then you can pay thirty bucks and get a twenty inch pizza, which is like. It, it, it's like that, guys. It, it, it's like oh, that. Oh, you guys, a happy thing. Johnny Young Bosch was there. Yeah, didn't, and didn't see him, though. <laughs> I did. I saw him in the halls, and I said, Woo! 
and he went, woo, and then he kept walking, and, oh, and a shout out to 2D6, Dan was there, mm -hmm. he loves you, I like you guys a lot, mm -hmm. well, I think your enthusiasm is magnificent, and if well, you haven't well, seen them before, they have YouTube, don't they? No, I don't think they're on YouTube yet. They don't have. They have. They Facebook. have Facebook. Yeah, check them out on Facebook. We'll link you in the doobly doo. Yeah, there will be links in the doobly doo. Um, also. Uh, oh, hey, check this out, guys. Wait, wait, it, it, it. No, check this out. Check that out, guys. This was originally made out of chalk and photographed the chalk twins. Google them; they are amazing. I say that's exact. You have to. You have to credit the people if you're going to show their art. I did. That's the chalk twins. They're called the chalk twins. Hold up. Bam. No. Shock twins. Yeah, they had a really huge thing of the Colossal Titan that, like, it was a big thing, and they had they had a piece of glass so <laughs> cosplayers could get on there and take a picture with the Titan. So there was all sorts of things. There were really cool things. All sorts like of characters with the, the Titan. The four links, and they were all, like, fighting the Titan. There uh, was an L anyway. perched on his shoulder. Okay, anyway. I have to get... To some, we have to get to some stuff coming up real quick because I don't want to keep you guys too long before we get to the pictures because it's already going to be like a 20 minute video with the pictures. Boop, boop. So, anyway. Um, I'm starting an Etsy store to support our baby. Yes. Um, we are having a baby. <laughs> Babies are expensive. Our OBGYN yeah. visits, like 800 bucks a pop. Um, like all the way through the pregnancy, and I'm guessing there will probably be at least and one after. According to our wonderful government system, we don't, we don't, we even don't qualify, qualify for, for anything. anything. So. Because open enrollment was in December. Point is, we don't qualify for anything, um, and we're we're in this in between loop where we can't, we're not allowed to sign up for anything, and we over qualify for too Until many things. Until December. Pretty much, government. We've when tried every option too. with the government. Government said you're on your own, kids. Pretty um, much. So, babies are expensive. So, Gilmas decided to continue her I'm sewing. Fire the sewing machine, a thing that I am absolutely terrified of to make you guys more things like rupees. Yeah, like she sewed like a fiend before that gun. Like she sold a ton of stuff at that gun. I sewed gun. for two months straight. But she really enjoyed it, so she decided like, you know, she'll continue with it, um, make some cool stuff online. Um, like what are some of the cool stuff you're I'm going to be make? making uh, dice sets. Um, plush dice sets. Plush polyhedral, polyhedral sets. Dice sets, um, the full range. And you can have the, it's like $2 extra for a bag, but that'll be well, Don't soon. worry about pricing, right? Pricing yeah. will be eventual, but I'm going to do uh, medium, large, and pillow sized for the things like that. So, you know, you can throw your D20 at people. Be really mad. Um, I'll also be doing individual dice. I'm going to be making uh, angels from Doctor Who. Some. Maybe. Maybe the licensed stuff. Licensing uh, stuff. Is we may get creative with, <laughs> but we might, we might get creative. But like adventurers. Oh, I'm gonna be making adventurers for you guys. Um, you can commission your adventurer being made into a plushie. They'll have round bottoms or legs. That's your choice. Um, you get to choose skin, hair, clothing, clothing, fine feature, uh, weapon, and uh. One special feature, any other special details after that are special details and left to your discretion. Um, you handle like normal commissions. Yep. The more elaborate, the more expensive it'll yep. be. But what she means by the round bottom is you can actually have a plushie that'll st sit up because they have a weighted bottom. Yep. Or you can give them little legs so that, you know, so it's you like a normal plushie. dance around with your little plushie like, ha-ha! And then you mentioned, some, she was going to do like some creative like licensed stuff too, but... I was um, going to do Mario Mushrooms, but again, we run into the licensing issues, so maybe we'll have, like... Maybe we'll get creative. Fist of the North Star Mushroom, or... Uh, an interesting mushroom. Samus Mushroom. It's an interesting... Anyway, point being, um, the adventures, I think, are the coolest part. The fact that you can get your adventures as a plushie, um, commission it to get plushie. Like I said, prices will come later. Um, we just started this. I just started my Etsy page today, so there's nothing there! Mm -hmm. But um, you can find me under Guild Maws. Also, in light of that, to also um, help her get some manner of cool things on there, other than just generally plush dice and stuff, um, we are officially going to be making our guild uh, symbol, our guild emblem, kind of like how, okay, see my fairy tale? I like how each of the guilds in fairy tale have their guild emblem, this one being the fairy tale emblem. Uh, we're going to be having our own gamer's guild emblem. 
Um, so that's what we're calling it. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, we do know that the centerpiece of it is going to be a five-point star. Um, may incorporate a sword and. I don't know. It's kind of up in the air. But from there, if you guys have any suggestions, anything you feel would be um, representative of the channel, of us, um, or representative of just like the gaming community at large, um, I will say no polyhedral dice because I want this to be more of a simple symbol like that. Something that can be replicated over and over and over again, um, can be drawn easily. Oh, I just a, si a symbol, not like, sorry. A symbol, not a logo, not a coat of arms we're going for, a symbol. Uh, something that hopefully any of our members can draw or at least, you know, replicate to some extent. That's the idea. If you have any ideas, let us know. Like I said, main symbol we're going to be building around is a five-point star. Any recommendations? Let us know. Um, Drop us a message in the comments. Mm -hmm. Talk you, to us in the PMs. Yep, you have another video coming on Sunday. Uh, hopefully it'll be an awesome video. Uh, pretty soon, oh, the winner from before, from our celebration for 200 subscribers, even though we're already at 250. Woo! Our celebration for 250 subscribers. Um, tell is, your friends, tell your mom. Make your mom sign up for YouTube. Yeah, all right. We made it drag on so long. Uh, the winner was a top 10 video, uh, well, top X video. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be doing one that I've been wanting to do. So I'm going to do a top six strong female characters video when w what do you mean when 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 what when are you doing it coming up next well maybe I, I have a video to do this sunday first this is not a good question to ask me when we're trying to be quick i wasn't trying to be quick <laughs> you're trying to be helpful i am well i don't know yet but it'll be soon um but okay so that's coming up um we are aiming to get 300 subscribers pretty soon, guys. So we are going to think of some manner of competition, uh, something that you can win. Maybe it'll be a plushie or something that we can work with. Maybe it'll be uh, the I reveal. Yeah, or maybe it'll be the reveal of the guild symbol. Either way, we want to get to 300 just to see that we can do it um, because we love you guys. We love talking to you. We love we, your shiny, happy faces. Yes, we love it when you give us suggestions for videos, all that good stuff, which, remember... Uh, we are looking for storytellers for Tales from the Tabletop. If you have not checked out Tales from the Tabletop yet, go check out that playlist. There's like four, four, st four tales from the Tabletop on there. Yeah, like four. Go, go check it out. We need more. We need the idea more. is we want to make a playlist full of everyone's best stories so that... Or worst. Or worst. Well... Like Funny your, or epic? Your worst best stories or your best worst The stories story. you tell over and over again, you just love telling over and over again, whether it's because it's funny or because it's awesome. Um, that's generally the stuff that's going on. Let's go ahead and get to pictures because you guys are going to be, you guys have been here long enough. So, thank you guys. And uh, do you know that These artist's pictures? name? No. No, exactly. So, Batman. no, not those pictures. Oh. Our photos. I took a lot of pictures at Con, and I asked every yes. single person yes. if it was okay. We have okay. lots of photos, and we want to get to them. Yep. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on Sunday. Enjoy the... Enjoy the rest of your week. Well, no, no, well yeah, do that. You're not but, posting this on a Sunday. Photos! Enjoy